out of 30 plus nootropics on the market for improving cognition, at least four of them are overrated. Which are those four and why should you avoid them? Well, let's find out. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we gotta talk about some of the nootropics that are, in my opinion, overrated. Now, obviously, there are many ways on how you can rate and rank nootropics, but here's what I did. I looked at all of the nootropics that can improve your cognitive performance, mainly focus, attention, and memory. And out of those, I searched for a couple of nootropics that, well, either have very weak effects, or you can easily get them for food, or that even come with unwanted side effects. I mainly search for nootropics that are pretty ineffective for healthy individuals. So, which are those four nootropics? Well, the first one is ginkgo biloba. Now, finally, ginkgo biloba is one of the most popular nootropics on the market, especially for improving memory. Now, many people use ginkgo for boosting memory, and you can find over 12 studies showing the positive effects of ginkgo biloba on memory. There are also studies that show that ginkgo biloba can improve your well being and cognitive performance. So why then is ginkgo biloba an overrated nootropic? Well, mainly because all of those studies were done on individuals, on older individuals that either suffer from some kind of dementia, they have Alzheimer's disease, or they're pretty old and are already in the cognitive decline. So if you suffer from one of the issues that I just mentioned, well, yes, of course, ginkgo biloba can be beneficial. But if you're not, if you're a healthy individual, well, then there are better nootropics on the market that can help you boost your memory. Now, if you look at the survey, that was done on 325 people, you can see that ginkgo biloba kind of scores somewhere in the middle when it comes to improving memory. And above that, you have some really amazing tropics, such as bacopa monieri, such as lion's mane mushroom, and even choline, like alpha-GPC or cognizin. So I really don't see a reason why you should supplement ginkgo biloba because there are so many other effective nootropics on the market. And that's why ginkgo is on this list. Now, the next compound we're gonna talk about is huperzin A. Huperzin A is a cholinergic compound, cholinergic nootropic that can improve or increase the levels of acetylcholine in your brain. And acetylcholine is important for memory and learning. Now, studies show that supplementing huperzin A can improve your cognition and can even improve your memory. However, a systematic review showed that the quality of studies of huperzin A and the effect on cognitive performance are pretty weak. And when it comes to improving memory, studies show that, yeah, huperzin A can be effective, but again, only if you suffer from dementia or have Alzheimer's disease. And unlike many other nootropics, it is important or very crucial to cycle huperzin A. So you need to take it for a while and then stay a couple of days or weeks off just to avoid the potential side effects. And the reason for that is because of its long half-life. You can learn more about it in this video up here. So since the effects of huperzin A are pretty weak, especially for healthy individuals, and because it comes with unwanted side effects, and you need to cycle it, and we even don't know the optimal cycle period, I think huperzin A is an overrated nootropic. And most importantly, we have some really great alternatives available, like lion's mane mushroom, like cognizine, alpha-GPC, and so on. By the way, do you want to know how well does your brain work? Well, go through our free brain assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain health score. The next nootropic on our list is Alcar, acetyl L-carnitin. Now, this is an amino acid that is produced by the body uh, by two amino acids, uh, methionine and lysine. So basically, if you eat enough of protein, no matter if you're vegan or not, you will have enough Alcar in your body. And the problem with Alcar is that the studies show pretty weak effects on cognition. Actually, it seems that Alcar is only beneficial if you have low levels of Alcar, which again, it's pretty rare, especially if you eat a healthy diet, and if you have Alzheimer's disease or you suffer from cognitive decline. And if you don't suffer from Alzheimer's disease or you're not older um, and already in this phase of cognitive decline, I don't see any reason why you should supplement Alcar. And that's why it's an overrated nootropic. By the way, do you like this video? If you do, please like it below. And lastly, maybe a bit unexpected, there is caffeine. Now, yes, there's no doubt caffeine can boost your cognitive performance, it can boost your energy levels and even improve your mood. So why is there caffeine on our list? Well, because habitual caffeine use leads to tolerance. So you need more and more caffeine to get desired effects until you get to a certain point where you don't get any effects out. Secondly, caffeine can cause insomnia, 
It can cause jittery, it can cause nervousness, it can cause anxiety, and a whole bunch of other unwanted side effects. And thirdly, people who drink coffee and do not take a caffeine supplement, yes, they can suffer from the same side effects, but at least coffee contains antioxidants, which are beneficial for your health and longevity, and caffeine does not contain them. And most importantly, there are some really amazing nootropics on the market that cause no side effects, that do not lead to tolerance, and are equally effective. And I'm talking about rhodiola rosea, I'm talking about panax ginseng, even bacopa moniari is great. So those adaptogen herbs are really amazing alternative to caffeine. And that's why I think caffeine is an overrated tropic. So yes, those are four nootropics that are overrated, but which are the most effective and most potent nootropics on the market? Well, watch the next video and learn more about them. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, follow your inception on social media, and guys, I hope to see you soon again.